Hey guys, what's up? It's TechHub41, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a remake of this video right here on how to make an iPod game. Um, it had 11,000 views, but um, it seems like a lot of people have issues. I don't know. Um, I'm going to be redoing it. Uh, this video, it, like, they're intended for iPod Nanos because two years ago, um, the iPod Touch and iPhone weren't that big yet, so, um, I'm going to show you how to make it with commentary this time, and I'm going to give you some video proof. So, let's go ahead and do this. Um, okay, so, the code for this is going to be in the description. You don't need any downloads, just this code. Um, copy it. Okay. So then, on your desktop, make a new folder. Title the folder, whatever you want your game name to be. So I'm going to title it, Epoch Game. I'm going to open it, make a new text document. I'm going to title this, um, page one. Open it, put in my code. Okay, so then, I'm going to break down this code real quick. This will probably be in the description too. So, okay, so here in the parentheses, you want um, page name. So, when you make your pages, it's all going to be page one, page two, page three, page thousand, um, yeah. And then here is going to be where you put your text. And the code is never going to change. So, let's say, like, you wanted to have a question, like, did you enjoy the video? You wouldn't put it inside the code, you would put it in here. So, whoops, my bad. And then there would be a link. So then, here, I'll show you it on the actual project. Um, so, you would type in at the top did you enjoy the video and then in parentheses you would write yes and then you'd forward it to page 2 dot text and then you'd type in you'd put a space in between and then you'd write it again page 3 dot text and then you'd write no okay so then you would save that, make two new pages, title it page two, page three, and then in page two, you would write good. Or you could move that on even further, and let's say you wanted to restart, you would say restart, and then you would type in page one dot text. And it would just basically forward right here. It forwards everything back to the page you refer it to. So um, you would just type it in, and then on the iPod you would select it, and then it would take you to the page. So then, yeah, and then you would go to page three, type in your text, ah, uh, type in restart page one dot text. And I mean, you can elaborate, you can do as many pages as you want, make a game, make questions, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to give you some video proof right now. Okay, my bad guys, I totally forgot. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it on your iPod real quick. You plug in your iPod, your iPod now, preferably. Um, it's going to pop up, you're out of play. I type it, or click, open, notes. Okay, so then you take your folder, copy it or just drag it in, paste it, okay, so you got that, um, now I'm going to give you the video proof, uh, just give me a minute. 